good, beautiful people? It's your girl, Ashley Janae, and it's time for my Friday Five. Thank you, thank you so much for stopping by. You know, this is the place where I give you a few of the things that I love and I've learned on my journey to self mastery in hopes that you take these things with you on your personal journey toward elevation, whether it's in your personal life, in your friendships, your finances, or what have you. Every week I give you a book, a business, a self-care practice, a song, a quote to help inspire you, motivate you, and provoke you to think wider. So thank you again so much. Smash that like button if you find value in this video and make sure you have on your post notifications so you don't miss a thing. Let's jump right into it. This week's book is called Sleep Smarter by Sean Stevenson. And I picked up this book actually not too long ago and you can listen to the audio book. You can pick up the physical copy. I got the audio book and I listened to it and I immediately started implementing things from the book right away. I literally picked up a pair of blackout curtains. I got some magnesium and I started making sure that I was off my phone even earlier. A lot of you know my schedule time for my phone is 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Well, now I'm trying to make sure that I'm off of my phone by 8 p.m. and implementing um, blue light filters onto my devices. So I really appreciated just the simple tips and tricks that he gave for sleeping smarter. But more than that, the book is filled with so much science and research, not even just about your sleep, but things you might not even realize. Things about your diet, nutrition, the brain in your gut, all of these things that contribute to sleep, even melatonin, something that we always associate with sleep, but the most production of melatonin is created in your gut. And when you're not sleeping right, you're not living at your highest potential. You're not functioning at your greatest level. The information in here is amazing. Sleep Smarter by Sean Stevenson. It will really help you improve so many other areas of your life beyond just sleep by implementing just a few other tips and tricks. So I recommend that you pick this book up and give it a try. The song that I want to tell you about is uh, a little bit heavy for me to talk about. A lot of you know, if you pay attention to the media or things like that, um, Nipsey Hussle, we lost him this week. And it's unfortunate for so many reasons, not just because he was a man, but because he was an inspiration for so many of us. And a lot of people on the outside looking in, if you're not a part of the hip hop community, it might be hard for you to understand how just a rapper or just the artist made such a great impact, but it was because he was so much more than that. He was a man who encouraged people, not just with what he did, but how he lived. He was constantly giving back to his community. He literally started from nothing and not only made something out of himself, but brought other people with him. He was an entrepreneur. He was a father. He was just a good person and it sucks so much to lose him. So by far, Victory Lap would be my greatest album to come from Nipsey Hussle, but one of my favorite songs is actually one of the first songs I ever heard from him a couple years a, year, a couple years ago, and it was called um, Going Down as a Great. And when I first heard that song, it just reminded me of like Muhammad Ali or something like that. Like when you think about legends and you think about the journey and the hustle of great businesses or entrepreneurs, and it's like that hustle, that grit, that was what drew people to him. And he always, in every album that has something to do with this race called life, that's why his first mainstream album was called Marathon. Then it was the Mar Marathon Continues, Run a Lap was a song, Victory Lap was his latest album. It was all about the hustle, it was all about the journey. And he talked a lot about visualization, manifesting your dreams, making sure that you put what you want down on paper and then you go get it. And that's why he was such an inspiration. And when I heard that song, I'm going down as a great, like it blew my mind even then. And now to lose him and he's not here, is so extremely painful. So I encourage you, check out the song, check out his work and 
really dig into it. Don't just look at it or listen to it from the surface, but really try to take the time to just listen to the story. It's almost like watching a movie, but listen to the story, listen to the layers, and then you can really get a glimpse, just a small glimpse of his life. Up next, I want to shout out a business. Um, the business owner is someone that I met actually on the Convos app, not a paid advertisement, but I met him on the Convos app that Chameleonaire started. And it was really cool how the app, it's really cool how the app is created because you meet so many people from so many walks of life, specifically and especially entrepreneurs like go getters. And I met this gentleman named Jacob Grovey and he's an author. And I love his books because he tells so many stories. And when you look at his website, he really is all about telling our story, the story of humanity, the story of people from so many different perspectives. And I love that. And the main title that I always see him talk about is called um, The Adventures with Austin. And it's like a little girl and she's an astronaut. And it's great because anyone who knows me knows I'm all about education, I'm a teacher. And so good examples that people can look to, specifically children can look at to read the stories, listen to the narratives and find themselves in it, not just the triumphs, but also the hurdles, the frustration. It's really amazing. So shout out to his business. I really think that what he's doing is such an amazing, important work that I could not let this week go by without shouting out his business. Next, a self-care practice that I want to talk to you about is really taking the time to talk. As I mentioned before with the climate that we're dealing with whenever we lose someone or hard circumstances come about in our life, sometimes we can bottle things up, we can hold it in, and it's not healthy for us. And the best option that we have is to get it out. Now, a lot of people will choose to get things out in all kinds of different ways. You can do therapy, you can journal, you can go see a professional counselor, talk to a trusted family friend, but whatever you do, my encouragement as your self-care practice that you want to put in place is to make sure that you get it out, specifically talking it out. And the reason why that's so important is because one, not only does it help you to hear other perspectives about your situation, but you also learn that one, you're not alone. And two, that, that other people are, are going through the process, even if you're just getting in, which gives you hope. Like if they're getting through it, I can get through it. And there's so much strength that comes from sharing our stories and from talking. So I encourage you to start talking to someone in a very intentional way about certain things that are going on, specifically if it's something painful, like dealing with the loss of this magnitude, talk about it with the people that you trust. And last but not least, I want to leave you with a quote. And this quote also kind of is inspired by Nipsey Hussle, but it's a quote from Tupac. It's actually a very short poem. And the reason why I want to use Tupac is because Nipsey Hussle his intellect and the way that he thought, the way he talked about business and unity, and he talked about assets over liabilities. You could tell he was such an educated young man, which flies in the face of people who only believe in a traditional education because Nipsey Hussle never graduated high school. And sometimes there's a stigma attached with you when you don't reach certain milestones that the society tells you you must reach in order to be of importance. And Tupac was one of those people where he just went against, uh, went against the grain and he educated himself more than anything. And Nipsey Hussle was one of those people. So this poem is A Rose That Grew From Concrete by Tupac. Did you hear about the rose that grew from a crack in the concrete? Proving nature's law is wrong. It learned to walk without having feet. Funny it seems, but by keeping its dreams, it learned to breathe fresh air. Long live the rose that grew from concrete when no one else even cared. Yeah, I'm trying to go down, down as a great. Every night I get on my knees and pray that I will go down. 
you know I picked out a video just for you? Really, I did. I put it right here. Click it. Click it right now so you can check it out just for you.